Proxmox virtual environment or the Proxmox VE provides a robust and versatile firewall system designed to ensure a security and control within your virtual infrastructure. Whether you are managing a small setup or an extensive large multi-cluster deployment, understanding Proxmox firewall capabilities is crucial for maintaining a secure environment. Proxmox firewall operates at multi-levels, allowing administrators to apply security policies with precision. Let's break it down. First of all, the data center level. This is the topmost level where you can define firewall rules that affect nodes and virtual machines within a data center. It's ideal for overarching security measures like blocking and allowing specific IP ranges or protocols across entire data center. Then is the node level. At this level, you can set the rules specific to the individual Proxmox node. These rules can automatically apply to all virtual machines and the containers running on this particular node, making it perfect for the node-specific traffic filtering. That is the VM level. This is the most granular control. Here, you can define rules tailoring for each virtual machines or container. For example, you might block a specific IP address from accessing a particular virtual machines or allow only certain type of traffic such as HTTP or HTTPS or SSH or FTP and so on. For those who are using software defined network, the SDN firewall adds another layer of control. This is especially useful for the modern network setups requiring dynamic and flexible configuration. So when we talk about the inbound and outbound traffic rules in Proxmox, you can set the rules for both inbound and outbound traffic, ensuring you can control not just who can access your environment, but also how data exits it. For example, you could allow inbound SSH traffic from your corporate network, but restrict outbound traffic to ensure no unauthorized data leaves your setup. Let us talk about some of the specific use cases related to all these type of firewalls. Data center level, so use case could be, for example, if you want to block an entire country's IP range for compliance or security reasons, or enforcing policies like disabling certain protocols, for example, Telnet globally. So you can apply that at data center level. So node level, you might be having a node which is hosting sensitive virtual machines or containers. So securing a specific node will be helpful here. So with, of course, additional rules in top of the data center rule. So at VM level, it is ideal for protecting critical services by limiting access to the specific port or IP range. Theoretically, you will not be able to understand. We have to go practically. Simply navigate to the data center menu in the Proxmox interface, go to the firewall tab and create a new rule. For instance, you might want to block all the incoming traffic from the specific IP range. If I go to node level, in node level, you can select a desired node and go to its firewall tab, define a rule. For example, you might include restricting outbound traffic to prevent the data leaks. And then is the VM firewall. So you can select a VM, navigate to its firewall tab, and then set up the rule. For example, you can allow only HTTP and HTTPS traffic while blocking all other ports. Now let's discuss the best practices for using Proxmox firewall effective. So you must plan your rules. Start clear understanding of your specific requirements. Design rules for the data center level and then define the rules for the node level and then for the VM level. Always test firewall rule in the staging environment to ensure they do not disrupt the legitimate traffic. One of the best practice that I recommend is to enable the logging. Use the logging features to monitor and troubleshoot the traffic, which helps in fine tuning your rules over time. Then is the document change. Make sure that you maintain a record of firewall rules for accountability and troubleshoot. Let us continue to next video and understand what else we can do in Proxmox virtual environment.